Hey Daily Boppers! So for anyone who isn't already aware, a very outspoken trans rights activist and sex workers rights activist named Hande Kader was found raped and burned to death on August 12th in Istanbul, Turkey. She was a huge voice in helping to bring awareness to the violence sex workers and queer people face in a nation where homosexuality and transness aren't considered illegal, but the levels of discrimination and violence against women and queer people is still overwhelming. It's always tragic and frightening when one of our sisters is murdered, but for me, on a personal level, this case is particularly frightening. Because when all the news outlets refer to her specifically as a trans rights activist and as a loud voice in her area, I have to look in the mirror and remember that I'm not exactly low-key myself. Obviously, I don't live in Turkey, but even in the United States, 18 trans women have been murdered so far just this year. And I'm also not a full-service sex worker, but neither are many of the other trans women of color who were murdered right here at home, so that doesn't really set me much more at ease either. I feel like there probably are those who would say that it's selfish of me to feel that way as an American, but to imply that we actually treat queer people with human dignity even here at home would be honestly bordering on delusional. If that was true, we wouldn't see the number of trans murder victims and suicides that we see each year. Pulse wouldn't have happened. We wouldn't have politicians running for office threatening to overturn marriage equality and divert money from AIDS research to fund anti-queer conversion therapy. There wouldn't be a debate over trans people's right to use the restroom in safety, and I could go on. I do have privilege for being an American. I have no idea what it's like to be an outspoken trans sex worker in Turkey. But I'm still a queer trans woman of color, and much like Hande, I don't back down. And I don't particularly like to think about it, but I know I have friends and fans who think of me immediately the second something like this happens, because I'm one of those people who is probably just loud enough to get myself into trouble one day. But really, this could happen to any of us. Knowing that creates a legitimate anxiety, which is really something that I feel like all transgender women, especially transgender women of color, have every right to feel given the circumstances, but the question is, what do we do with it? Because while Hande's story is thankfully actually getting at least some degree of international media coverage, trans women are killed here at home all the time, and most cisgender Americans just never even hear about it. But we do. And I feel like sometimes we can find ourselves exhausted and overwhelmed, almost to the point of numbness, and we just don't even want to look at it or think about it anymore. And that's okay. Life has to go on. That's what we have Transgender Day of Remembrance for. But even that's really still not fair, and it's definitely not easy. Every time I see another one of my sisters dead, I know I just want to break down and cry all day. But the world doesn't stop for trans women to mourn our dead and reassure ourselves. If it did, it would have to stop with alarming frequency, and unfortunately, that just can't happen. The world can't stop spinning, and neither can any of us. And nor should we, because we deserve better than what the world is willing to offer us right now. Hande deserved better, all of our dead sisters deserve better, and you deserve better. Every single one of us deserves a happy, long, fulfilling life just as much as any cisgender person does. We're probably not going to actually get that for a very long time, but we do deserve it. So I want you to know that it's okay to mourn and feel frightened, but it's also okay to live your life, and not just to fight the patriarchy, but also for yourself and your own happiness. Because the fact of the matter is that we don't really have the luxury of time to give every single one of the lives we lose the proper mourning they deserve when it happens. But we can remember every single one of them, and do our best to honor them by spreading awareness of their lives and the beautiful people they were and everything they accomplished, and by choosing to live our lives just as proudly and openly and with just as much zeal for life and defiance in the face of oppression as they did, and choosing not to let fear overwhelm us, but instead to motivate us, so that if our names ever do become the next hashtag, we can at least rest in the knowledge that we burned as brightly as we could, made the biggest difference we could, and led the most fulfilling and meaningful lives we could before we had to go. It's why I do everything I do, and why I'll always continue to do everything I do, because for me, it's the only way I can keep going and deal with all the stress and anxiety that I naturally feel having to know that any of our ends could come that way. It's okay to feel fear, but I feel like the best thing we can do with that fear is to learn to let it empower us, to live the brightest, bravest, and most defiant lives we can, and to touch as many other lives as possible, even if that just means making a difference for one other person. Because we're all here for a reason, and future generations of people like us deserve a better world than the one we live in today. And we can make that happen, but only if we actually live our lives 
lives to the fullest and refuse to back down like Hande Kader did. And our safety is still never a currency to be exchanged for progress, and it's still absolutely okay to do everything you need to in order to ensure your own safety. But we can still do that without letting the fear and sadness of events like these rule our lives and hold us back from doing everything we're capable of and everything we deserve. And I know the world doesn't want us to feel this way, but each and every one of us deserves the world. And I just want you to remember that includes you, no matter what. So burn as brightly as you can, because Hande Kader was a star, and so are all the rest of us. As always, thank you so very much for watching, and until next time, be yourself.